Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to review Superman 2, the Richard Don Cup for you guys. So the plot is, Krypton, Krypton villains General Zod and his henchmen break out of the Phantom Zone and head to Earth, just as Superman, Christopher Reeve, gives up his powers uh, for his new love, Lois Lane, Mega Kidda. This is the alternate version of the film, is based on the footage shot by director Richard Donner before being replaced on the project and includes uh, scenes that weren't in the original film released in uh, 1980. So, the Richard Don cut, it's interesting because the I didn't mind the um, theatrical cut, but when... I go into this one, I'm like, okay, it's got to be better. One, it's shorter. Two, I don't know what's going to be taken out of it. And three, I don't know what to expect. I know that there's going to be scenes replaced in and cut out and stuff like that. Which is very interesting. So, the first, not the first half-half, but the bit with, uh, like, the stuff of the Daily, uh, the daily Planet... I was about to say the Daily Bugle. Completely different franchise. But the Daily Plant stuff is completely shot uh, differently. Except for having Mugger Kid up at... Um, I know what was the theatrical cut. I can't remember now. A heist? No, it wasn't a heist. It was... Um, like, except for having her already in danger on that elevator and Superman comes in and says her she's already at the Daily Planet and she's looking at the newspaper that she prints off of uh, Superman so and then Clark Kent comes in she looks at Clark Kent as Clark Kent is talking to um, I'm trying to remember the character Anyway, he's talking to one of the other uh, people that work there. I can't remember the guy's name. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but she looks at the paper, and then she draws a hat on Superman and a jacket and a tie and glasses. And that's how she realized that he's uh, Superman, which I'm like, okay, cool. She figured out right away, because it's not really that easy to pick up on. So, I love how this cut addressed that. I like the, like, a lot of the shots are the same, a lot of the scenes are the same, but they are spliced up. Um, so, a lot of that stuff, I didn't really see much difference, which is surprising. Oh, wait, one of the other, one of the cuts that I didn't, that weren't in... Uh, the body uh, theatrical cut that way in the dawn cut was the scene where Superman picks up uh, like he takes the American flag that uh, go to the uh, United World Council yeah that goes to the council and he picks up and drops it off because they don't do anything with the flag so I found that interesting. Some of the small bits that are iconic to the second one, they actually got out of. So I was very surprised by that. Um, but yeah, Christopher Reeve does a much better job in these uh, sequel movies as Clark Kent. Because the first one, uh, there's something about the whole nervousness that I didn't really get behind. I'm like, um, that is not... Uh, Clark Kent to me. So, when uh, that happens, and the whole thing with uh, Clark Kent and Lois um, happen, I'm like, I'm on board. This is totally what you need to do. Just have fun and act as best as you can because these movies are kind of silly. Uh, because that's kind of what happens when your uh, movies are made in the 80s and even the 70s because the 79, 78 was when the first one came out I think 
So then they uh, kind of went like, let's keep it in the same direction as the other one. But they actually, the effects looked a little bit good. Like the green screen wasn't as green screeny as the first one. So that's that. So what would I give this film? I would surprisingly, even though I do like it, I would have to give it a Venom. Only because it was disappointing that I was bored the entire time. I was expecting this one to be better. Um, which, the second one I gave a Michael Enjoy, which all these movies I like, but I don't, like, even though that by these reviews, they might seem like they are like, um, some better than others, but they all are pretty, i not really a huge fan of any of these, but I do like them. They hold a special place in cinema. And superhero cinema. If we didn't get this, we wouldn't have got the Batman's, and we wouldn't have had the um, later Superman movies. So that is why we get this film. So, guys, next time I will be reviewing Superman three, which that one's got. I would have to watch that one on YouTube because that one I don't have on DVD. I don't have that one or the Quest for Peace. So those ones I would have to try and find. But then after those, we're going to Superman Returns. And then after that, we're going into the Batman series. So, guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also, hit the little bell. I can't even know if I have future videos I make now. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.